Hey, how's it going? So, um, I did finish everything and I wanted to show you. I will tell you right now because uh, I let it get so soft, the colors are not as bright as they could be. And normally I wouldn't do it that way, but I'm having some... I wanted it to be softer for me, thank you. And you can <laughs> extrapolate from there what I'm talking about. But before I do, I just want to quickly tie up some loose ends because I start to say stuff and get distracted or sidetracked and forget what I was talking about. So the first thing I wanted to bring back into line is when I started talking about the words in my head, when I was talking about words of power, is that I was just kind of thinking that I didn't believe that our current president was going to even finish out his first term. But I've thought that from since before he started just because of his history that I'm aware of. And other people can easily access this. Although I've met people where I've said, well, I believe he's always been a scofflaw and met like upset resistance by a couple of parties when I've had this discussion. And my thing is, is that when it comes to him being subject to the law, he's against it. But when he needs to sue somebody or something like that, he's all for it. And basically that's what I have talking was talking about. And I think today that is what we are seeing worn out for... To me, that's what I'm seeing. I know other people are seeing other things. And there's that programming again. But there's that's what I was going to say. Uh... Well, that's what I was going to talk about. And so, once I was planning on getting it out of my head and onto paper, so to speak, was the fact that as I had the thought, that, and I've had the thought many times, that I didn't think he was going to finish out a full term. His first term will be his only term, and it wouldn't be a complete one. And I was thinking that thought, and I swear what happened in my mind was when I got to the word term, it was like pulled out. It was taken out and immediately replaced with sentence, which is kind of funny given what is unfolding <laughs> right now and is <laughs> being su subjected, subject to laws. He seems to be trying to get away from it in this in impeachment inquiry and the impeachment hearings and before that, the Mueller investigation or the one-headed by Mr. Mueller when he was uh, the special prosecutor, Mr. Robert Mueller. <clears throat> uh, yeah, he doesn't want any of that coming to him. Like, I don't know how else you could perceive it, but it was just kind of interesting. And I did think, well, that wasn't what I was thinking. I was going with term, and then I tried to think it a couple more times, and it was like a line was being drawn through it, like an editor's red pencil in my head. Like, we're not using that word. It's out, it's taken out, and sentences put in, and then it clicked. Oh, I guess that was a little bit of channeling. Spirit's got a little sense of humor there. Switching those two words. Okay, so that was one. The second thing that I started to say that I trailed off and didn't finish was about making my own home versions of like Taco Bell or whatever burger or whatever the thing was that's like kind of it's like more it's better for me to spend the money on just like making my own version at home and for the price that I would spend on that I can make with the ingredients a number of other dishes and then also it ends up costing a fraction of what you would pay at the fast food place. And so I started to say my versions are not as elaborate as, say, the redos by, like, Bon Appetit that um, they do for, like, Oreos or... I haven't looked at them all. Like, Oreos is the only one that I actually sat there and watched. But they have, like, professional chefs and they recreate these things that you can get out in the world and so that was all that the rest of that was and I also referenced Goya when I was talking about 
where the body of products possibly come from. And I need to specify, I wasn't talking about the artist that painted, I was talking about Goya uh, Latino products. And they have food for Spanish speaking people in the Americas and wherever else, I'm sure. But I saw a profile of the guy that owns the company saying that he created it and he brought all types of foods that are specialty foods for perhaps someone that's just not a nader, e native eat a nader, <laughs> a natterer, but not a native eater of those products, you know, and like Caribbean food where maybe like uh, Aki, like the plant that looks like scrambled eggs that's eaten in the Caribbean that's not, it's a plant, it's not an egg at all, but it, you know, it looks like it. So, I believe Goya has a canned version of that product, or they'll have black beans for, you know, uh, Cubans eat black beans, and a lot of other people eat them too. I eat them, I'm not Latino at all, so, it's just, it's, it, it, but, you know, from various regions where Latinos come from, Goya makes products for those people. Okay, I wanted to show you quickly the finished product, and... It's, like I said, it's usually more colorful, but I let it go longer because I wanted it soft. But there it is with the rice. And I am looking forward to having some, so I'm going to go. Thank you and good night again.